Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Today we're at Vasim's lab, which is apparently Muriel's brother slash father slash whatever the hell the game feels like making them today. It's just like choose a random relative day. But anyway, let's go on in here and get some treasure before we go and uh, talk to him. Get that Mega Berry, grab a duplicator over here. We can get Hyper Gear and down here a Magic Carrot. Sweet! So, hey there. What's up? You look just like Amiko. Hmm. Looks familiar to me. I must have seen them both a long time ago. Hmm. Breath, breath. No, not breathe, breathe. Breath, breath. Sure, game. Sure. Mm, yeah, in the flesh. Well, not really in the flesh. In the metal. In the living flesh. That works, too. Yeah, come on now. Don't you have the Guardian Blade? Use it, and then give it to Jack, and then he can, you know, slice the world in two! You have the true power! Oh, I didn't really see, like, a fissure in the ground, I just saw a desert. I mean, this isn't the gag harv. Is it? Hmm. No, no, no. It really isn't. Oh, it's a Doom Blade? Hmm. Reminds me of another game that I've played. Oh. So you don't want to use the Guardian Blade, you just want to use the metal of the blade, which would heal Rudy's arm? I guess. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Come on now. I mean, you're not gonna split the world in two or anything. I mean, the world's already kind of floating in air in a different alternate dimension. So what more harm could you possibly do? Reminds me of the Grand Stream Saga. Actually, a lot of this does. With the islands floating in the air, and then, like, fissures coming in, and the islands kind of falling out of the air? Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into this. I don't know, that was such a good game. I really should let's play that game. It was amazing. And it doesn't get a lot of, um, respect. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Let me know what you guys think about that. Eh, we shall see. Oh, great, you can repair it. Oh, what do you need? The Life Force Guardian, okay, and the Illusion Guardian. Huh, so where can I find both of these Guardians? Don't I already have the Life Force Guardian? Because I got the Life Guardian last time. Is it a different Guardian? Or is it just a really bad translation? Probably the latter. Oh, yeah, it's just a bad translation. <laughs> okay, so I already have the Life Guardian, and you don't know where the Illusion Guardian is. Great. Oh, Magical Book Daily Metallica. Huh. Really? Yeah, no kidding, and I've read all the books that I've come across, too. Hmm. Well, let's talk to Mariel. Maybe she knows something about this. Oh, really? A library that contains every magical book? Huh. You don't say. Oh, well, thanks for the healing. So... Yeah, she basically dropped the huge hint that you have to go all the way back to Curran Abbey and, um, you know, Daily Metallica will be in there. So rather than have you guys drag along through all that kind of stuff, I'm going to get out of here, teleport to the Forest Mound, and then I'm going to first meet you in Adelhide. Okay, it's just a little quick thing that I want to do here, and it's not mandatory, but I want to do it. Um, the advanced magic, yeah. So I want to bind up one extra spell. Yeah, this one right here. So, definitely. This is the high prison spell, and it works as like the hold magic, or like a paralyzed magic, essentially. And that'll be coming pretty handy for getting a very rare item very soon in the next place that we're going to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teleport over to Curran Abbey, Use the teardrop on that little thing that we did way back at the beginning of the game, and head all the way to the end of the sealed library where we first fought that first boss in Cecilia's scenario. So, see you there. I made my way all the way through that sealed library, and then just check this left bookshelf for the Daily Metallica book. Oh, forbidden magic? You don't say. Oh, is it another guardian? I guess it's the Guardian of Illusion. Maybe the Guardian of Illusion was the one who orchestrated this whole thing in the first place. Maybe that was the, actually the one who was talking to us way back when. 
Uh, I don't know. Anyway, here we are. This place is... Mm, I'm not gonna say it's mazy, it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. It's not too bad, though. It's not as bad as the forest prison. Okay, here we have the pumpkin heads. Uh, let's see. They have 1,300 HP, and they are weak to evil. But we're just gonna use high blast, because everything's easier with a high blast. Yeah, we just knock them out in one hit. So don't have to worry about anything. And everything in here drops magic carrots. So, yeah, don't worry about your MP either. That's, you know, a moot point if you have tons of magic carrots. I haven't used a magic carrot, like, ever. Like, seriously. Closed for two hours. Huh. So what you have to do in this room is go around going up the right-hand stairs because you're actually going counterclockwise whenever you're doing that, and then you're making time kind of go down, if that makes any sense. If you went up the left-hand staircase instead, time would go up and it would be like, oh, it's three hours, then four hours, then five hours. So you have to keep on going up the right-hand staircase, and then finally you do it twice, the door opens. Easy enough. Head on down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, the Song of the Earth. Huh. Song of Ice and Fire? No, that's, uh, something else. So, let's go on down here. And, hey, there we go. We don't have to get all the books in here, but I would highly recommend doing it, because you do get a fast draw for doing it, so, I mean, you might as well. And it gives you some extra dialogue, but, yeah, it's completely up to you if you want to do it or not. I really don't care. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? The Necronomic! Hey! Jack will guard. Cecilia, you will cast High Prison. These guys drop the best spellcasting book in the game. This is how you want to do it. As long as you get one of them in prison, that's all that matters. So, because you only need one book. Now that you've done that, Jack can go ahead and kill that guy because he's not in prison. And Cecilia, now cast Lucky Shot on the one that is imprisoned. This will guarantee that he drop his rare drop, and you will always get the Necronomicon. So that's how you do it. By the way, the guys have 1200 HP, and they cast really high level spells that can kill you. But when you put them in prison, you cast the Lucky Shot, boom, they drop the Necronomicon. This is what you want. Also, if you don't have Lucky Shot, because it is very expensive, it's 30 MP, or you don't want to use it or whatever, you can Mystic the Bone item that we got a long time ago, and that casts Lucky Shot. So, keep that in mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip that on her. Ba -da -ba -da. Look at that! Like, doubles her sorcery stat. It's so good! Oh, it's amazing! And really easy to get, too. So, go on over here. A song of Fire! Hey, hey! Okay, great. So, continue on down the way, and head inside this door. And here we have a little save point, which I probably should save time sometime this century, but... Eh, I'm using save states. What do you want from me? So, what do we got here? We have some more enemies in here that we haven't seen quite yet. Oh, hey, hey! We have the Talgiums! And Jack can go after the Necronomics. Um, and we'll use a high flame against them since they are weak to fire! They only have 800 HP, but they are able to use all of the high level spells against you. So, keep that in mind, they can really devastate your HP really quickly. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, that really sucks that Jack wasn't able to, you know, one-shot that guy, because this- these Necronomics, like, they are insane! They can- they have a spell that can deal, like, 1200 damage to all of your party members. So, that's- can be really deadly, really fast. So, just keep that in mind. Anyway, continue right along through here. Oh, what's this? Knowledge is the treasure. Oh. Okay, can we open up the door? Knowledge and treasure go hand in hand. Huh. Well, keep that in mind. Anyway, let's head on over here and see what we can't find. Maybe some knowledge or treasure? I don't know. Oh, books. I guess that's knowledge. Oh, closed mines. Well, that's not really knowledgeable, is it? Oh, well, we already knew that. What does this one say? Oh, really? Huh. Well, I didn't really know that, either. Oh. Huh. 
Is that Pandora's box? Well, you don't say. What does this one say? Closed eyes? Well, you need an open mind, so... Yeah, the only ones that didn't talk about closed or um, just being stupid in general was the third and fourth books. Just keep that in mind for, like, right now. Because <laughs> we're going to go on down here. It said that knowledge and treasure is, like, combined. Uh, it's hand in hand. So the books that gave us knowledge was not the first nor the second. It was the third and the fourth. You want to open up treasures number three and four. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Just listen to me. You have to read the books. You have to open up those treasure chests. It is what it is. If you actually like try to make sense of what it's saying to you, you'll just drive yourself crazy. Don't ever really try to make sense of a JRPG, especially with the translation this bad, because it's never going to work out right. Anyway, let's head on down these stairs and get yet another book about the Song of Wind. Okay, so continue on our way, and uh, let's see, oh, another little book here, Song of the Lightning. Is it just me or Cecilia's hair transparent in here? I mean, it shouldn't be. Maybe it's just those clouds and the smoke, it just like highlights her hair because of the yellow clouds, I guess. Oh, even more books, Song of Nothingness. Oh, wow. Song of the Sacred. So I guess each book corresponds to a different, um, guardian, it seems. Oh, so does this give us the Guardian of Illusion? That'd be pretty nice. Oh, no, it doesn't, but it gives us another fast draw! Okay, so yeah, that's the fast draw for Phaser Zap, which is actually a pretty good fast draw, it's just kind of expensive, so... I'm not gonna bother Honestly, with it. Honestly, as far as fast draws go, especially because Jack doesn't have a lot of HP and secret signs are so rare, you only need two good fast draws. One for groups, which is Sonic Buster, and one for single targets, which is Slash Rave. That's pretty much the extent of, um, fast draws. But Heal Blade is also kind of nice, too, just because, you know, it's different. But anyway, let's go on through here. Oh. Huh. Oh. Really? Okay, whatever you say. I wonder why he says we're not going to meet. Hmm, what does this one say? Oh, the strength of the machines, like, Rudy? I don't know, we're trying to destroy the demons. Left to horns, right to man. Um, I believe in men, not horns. Yeah, I guess they're talking about clashing of horns, warfare, and all that kind of stuff. What do I seek? Oh, the power of death. I don't seek death. Oh, the power of life. Hey, hey. So I do seek that. Head over to the right. And, uh, what do you got? Oh. Um, Vassum? I guess he possesses it. Future for the world is the left. To take the future from the world, choose the right door. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll choose the... Hmm. I think I have right? I think? Maybe? Hopefully? Did I do this right? Did I choose the wrong door? I don't even know. <laughs> oh. What's the meaning of justice? Justice is power for right. Power is justice left. We'll try that. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Maybe? No, I didn't. Oh, hell. Okay, so what you want to do is take the left door. Then you want to take the right door. Then you want to take the right door again. I'm guessing that what happened is, as I was like talking, I messed up on my doors. So it is what it is. Here you want to take the left door, that's the one that I messed up on. And then here you want to take the right door. So yeah, kind of screwed myself up a bit, but eh, it's not that bad. Are you kidding me right now? Hold on a second. Oh, hey, I made it! Even though I did the exact same doors the second time that I did the first time. That's odd. Oh, but here we have a new enemy, the Mystic Pots. Um, these guys have a lot of defense, so I'm going to be using a High Blast against them, as well as Sonic Buster. 
So again, I did it a third time. I don't know what it is about, you know, doing it three times, but left, right, right, left, right. That's what you need to take. Left, right, right, left, right. So, yeah. But anyway, those Mystic Pots, they have a lot of defense. So basically the way to go is to high blast the hell out of them before they can start casting high shield and other things. If you use physical hits against them, it'll deal like less than 100 damage. It's pretty pathetic. So spells are definitely the way to go in here. And just head on over here, and what do we have? Duris Drum, Rebel with the Forbidden Knowledge. Oh, really? Okay, it wasn't... Actually, it was kind of bad, I've got to say. If I didn't have a guide for this, I'd be like, what the hell do I do? With that treasure puzzle, I wouldn't have any idea. And the doors, I'd just be like... Uh, I'd just be like blind in there. I mean, I was just saying, I don't know which door to choose. Beats the hell out of me. Eh, oh well. We got through all right. It was fine. And even the official guide doesn't really tell you what to do. That official guide for this game sucks. Every time that I let's play a game, I always go on eBay and I order the, um, like, the official Prima guide or Brady guides or whatever it is, and, um, you know, I, 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 I use it as well as various other guides that I can find online, and I hope that all together, you know, everything helps me. And some guides are really good, like the guide for, for uh, Nostalgia was amazing! The guide for this game, not so much. The guide for this game, SUCKS! It is terrible. It is something like, um, 400-something pictures, and each picture is numbered, and it's like, you know, go from picture 1 to picture 2 to picture 3 to picture 4, and then there's like a little caption underneath each picture that tells you what to do, but it gives no strategies for bosses. It's pretty much like, oh, we have another boss fight, okay. It gives you no stats on it. It doesn't really tell you what any of the fast draws do, um, it doesn't really tell you what items are good for mysticking. It doesn't give you any maps. It doesn't tell you where treasures are in towns. It's just crap. So, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's just bad. I'll just put it that way. It's just bad. <laughs> so if you're wondering, hey, should I order that guide? Do not. It is terrible. But anyway, we went ahead, we got through uh, Daily Metallica, we got the Illusion Guardian, so we had to get on out of Curran Abbey, go over here to the Forest Mound, we're just going to be flying on the way back to Vassim's lab, so hopefully he can perf perform his surgery on Rudy and save his life and save his left arm. Good thing that teleporting works here and allows you to teleport wherever you want to, it makes everything so much easier, so much nicer. Let's head on inside and uh, check out and see how Rudy's doing. See how Vasm's doing too, and Mariel. Forgot about her. Hey there. Where are you guys at? Oh, they're not here? Are they downstairs? Oh, they're both here. Hey, hey. Oh, sweet. No, you're actually making a really good decision here. You're trying to save a life. Yeah. Wait, I thought that we said that you weren't going to forge the Guardian Blade, that you were just going to somehow create or forge Rudy's arm back onto him, but now you're saying that you're going to create the Guardian Blade? I thought it was already created. It was just buried in the desert a thousand years ago. Maybe he's not creating it, because now he's just doing surgery. Unless the surgery's down in the forge. Okay. Well, hopefully he's gonna do fine. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for him, too. Okay, well, we'll see next time if Rudy can pull through this surgery. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.